everyone, and welcome back to Danganronpa Characters Play, Banjo-Kazooie. I am Gundam Tanaka. Nikamaru Nidai! And you're probably wondering what we're doing back in Treasure Trove Cove. Um, I put in the blue eggs cheat that we got uh, several episodes ago. So... Hmm, alright then. But now we are going to open up the next world, so... Alright, so of course we are resuming this adventurous game. It's not where I wanted to, I did not want to land in the water. Yeah, do not go near the shark. We are going to leave this level so we don't do anything else in here. I might go, before we open the next world though, I might go back to the previous worlds that we, uh... Miss Jiggy's in and grab those real quick. Or maybe I'll do that at the, like, the last episode, probably. Hmm. Alright. Uh, so probably before we do the final episode, we'll probably go ahead and go back and get those Jiggies. Alright, I suppose. Mm. Shaggy doesn't seem like she really agrees. But yeah, we all know that you would do 100% immediately, so you'd probably go and get everything after you got the move for it. Probably. Oh, and also, Shaggy, uh, the last time that we, you know, recorded Rancho Kazooie, uh, I looked into that, and yeah, apologies for that. I didn't, I didn't realize what that kind of genre of game was. Um, yeah. Hmm. Though, what, what about dating sims? I heard those are really popular, like the Club Literature Club. Oh, no idea. Ah! By the way, just, oh uh, yeah, just a quick, uh, we forgot to mention, we forgot to uh, say, the, but... Beware of spoilers, because we might say we because we might oh, say yeah, yeah. From our games. The you, spoiler warning, might, yeah, sorry. Yeah, and you and you that's right. And you and you might uh, not understand what we are talking about. So if you don't want to be spoiled, play our original games before watching our content. Uh, you know this content. But if you don't care about spoilers, then feel free to resume uh, uh, watching uh, watching this content like right now. And also. And also, some of you are, um, and so also, some of you are not subscribed to our channel. We noticed that there's a lot of views on some of our videos, but not very many subscribers. So, yes. if that button is red, make sure you click on it and make it gray. It's free, and you don't, you don't, have, to, you don't have to pay us anything for it. Yep. If you, and, and if you don't like our content, then that's fine. You can always unsubscribe. We're not here to judge. Do you think he's sad or upset? And, um, what is this? Dunko will be pretty upset and probably doom you to, uh, like, you just there. Hmm. In any news, but still, <laughs> we won't be upset if you don't decide to stick with us all the time. That's alright. <laughs> yep. Indeed. You know, the more you guys say it, the more it seems like you guys would be upset. Hmm. That would be the care. We don't feel like your content, and that's their fault. Not really their fault. Just saying, if they were in my kingdom, they'd be so. Whoa! Oh, 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 goodness. I see. It's kind of a bit too much for the next one, yeah. Uh, Nekomar, you almost got hit by a snowball. No, yeah, I mean, it's fine. Well, I mean, that was a close call. Oh yeah, Celeste had a place somewhere she didn't go, so that's why she's not in this video. Yeah. Oh. She had, a, she had another gambling tournament to go to. I'm getting killed. I'm gambling? Oh, goodness. You know how she is. Nope, I don't. I'm telling Chiaki that, not you and Agito. You wonder why people hate you sometimes, and you make everything your business. I uh, don't think that was my point, you know. I thought you were trying to carry the conversation here. Plus, we're all, we all are in one place. So I might find that I can get 
have to overhear it, huh? Never mind, I'm not going to bother arguing with you. You know, I can tell you can be kind of upsetting. Even if you mean you're talking about hope and everything, it still seems like you don't want anything to do with most of us when you talk. What? You made me say that. Because when I... Well, when Dum Dum or me or Nekomaru or... I don't know about Chiaki, but when us three want to like say something, you always like it seems like you always try to one one up us, and it it doesn't bring it doesn't bring smiles. It brings only like, despair, like what Yuko would say. I don't want to be mean, but you know somebody's gotta say it. Oh goodness! Yeah. Oh. This is quite the topic to get onto in this uh, conversation. Oh boy. You know, I like how last video, like the last video we did this, I didn't say anything to Kokichi at all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's, let's go into, let's go into something different, please. Uh, uh, Alright, the next world is Mad Monster Mansion. My game is pretty good, because the Jackson, um, ooh, I have a huge stutter there. My game is pretty good, Especially with like the whole preparations of uh, being crowned. <laughs> yeah, you're probably really nervous about that, I would have to guess. Well, nervous or not, I can't deny the crown. It's my birthright. I, like, I, like I've told Hachimi before, I really never even had friends. Well, if you had a brother or something, you probably could deny it, but you'd, yeah. I don't even have siblings. I don't think I do. Unless my parents are hiding siblings from me, that'd be a good surprise. Hmm. So I okay. said, that'd be the only way, like, if you had a brother that you could skip out on the crown. If I could skip on the crown, I'd go live with Gundam and on his, um, wherever he lives. Well, my homeland, of course. But, uh, to be part of the Tanaka family. Gundam, do you think your mom would accept me? I'm pretty sure she will. <laughs> I'm very certain. Well, I'd love to meet her. Why can't I meet her? Well, she's busy. Uh, well, she's sometimes busy at, at well, you, well, oh. in terms of, you know, taking care of animals. Oh, so your brother takes care of animals too, huh, Gundam? Well, yeah, pretty much. Probably, uh, I would pretty much have, that's where I probably got my, uh, my, well, the same, uh, traits, I would say. I'm guessing your dad is the one that claims he's the uh, Supreme Overlord, though. Mm. Probably having the, uh... Gundam, I thought your dad left you. Left you in your hand. Mmm... I don't know, it's kind of vague. Sorry, I can it's kind of... My memory's kind of, my memory's kind of a little vague to remember. But that's, but that's alright. Well, as long as you're happy, that's all we can care about, correct? Well, yes, of course. Of course. As long as, long as, well, as, long as I'm happy, then that's totally fine. As well as, as long as you're happy, then I'm totally fine as well. Alright, first of all, I want to break down this door over here, because we need to do this to get the next world, so... Uh, that... Okay, those tombstones that says rip is very, very. Oh, those things! Oh, those things attack you! Some of those do attack you. Should have figured as much. Rigor told me this is the, the best, some of the best music in the game here. I'll see if he's right about that. Well, I don't think Jingo's just giving up on killing people. 
Junko's already- Junko's been with you for so long at this point, I thought she would have already tried. Yeah, if Junko wanted you dead, she she would have been dead already. Yeah. You haven't seen previous videos. She's, yeah. she's literally tied me to a chair before. In the background, you can hear me screaming because I had teeth on me. But, but thankfully, Kokichi came and saved me. Yeah, he did. Oh boy, those tombstones. There we go. Uh, oops. Uh, I'm not gonna ask. What? Well, is this the way he does it? Well, yeah, I mean, this is a questionable way to do a puzzle. Yeah, very questionable. There we go. Oh, another tombstone. And down he goes. Down he goes. How did that miss? Uh, well then. I don't think you can kill them. I'm not trying to kill them, I'm trying to solve, complete a puzzle here. Oh. You had to fill you had to fill all these pots of eggs. This thing say thank you for shitting in their mouths, but okay. Uh, Why yeah. Are flowers after them? I don't know. Is this what they use to take shits over here? I don't know if that's what they use or not. Okay, I knew you- okay, you're the one that comes to life, okay? Get rid of you! Really? I'm right at the edge of the pot, how can you miss? Bando, did anyone t ever teach you how to aim your shits? <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow, Nekamaru. I can't believe I heard that from a distance. Uh, Kokichi, yes. Well, I had to agree with him. Um, um okay. Wow, wow, Sonya. Okay, Sonya is laughing pretty, pretty loud. I was not expecting that to be sad. <laughs> wow. That was very unexpected. Well, I have to admit, yeah, it is very unexpected to me as well. Like, I would understand Gunko and, like, Nekomaru, like, talking about, well, that's how you, that's how, something about it, but not, like, <laughs> not, like, the way he said it. I can't yeah. even say it because it was so funny. Yeah, I can't help him as well. <laughs> I think that was like one of the first shit jokes I've ever made in a long time on this channel. I think, I think so. I think the last time was that one Among Us video. Yeah, back then. Yeah, when I got the one that got deleted. Yep. Because of the circumstances that happened. Due to that, we have no choice but to uh, remove it. Okay, well. But you know, uh, it's for the. But you know, it's for the best. Oh well, yeah, yeah. You know, um, Nagito, you've been quiet for quite a while now. He's probably focused on his game he's playing. Uh, it could be no such a while ago. Oh. Oh, did I hurt your feelings? Well, my feelings don't really matter that much. No, your feelings yeah. matter! Do I have to tie you down to a chair and teach your feelings matter? 
We care about you. We care about you and uh, Nagi Ko. We care about you. Even if they give me quite a hard time sometimes. <laughs> I heard from a great person. No matter how many times a person can end up hurting you or like emotionally hurting you, you can always learn to forgive them in the end. And we always forgive you, Nagito. You are one of the most awesome oh, yes. people we've always been able to hang out with. We're always proud to have you here. Yet we may yell at you from time to time to shut up about hope, but we all care about you like nobody's business. It doesn't mean we don't love we don't love you any less than we love each other. I mean, yeah, you're pretty annoying, but we put up with you. Yeah, we do. And think about it, Nagito. You know, if it weren't for Hakime, none of us we probably would still be locked up in the in the one place. <laughs> yeah, the yeah. virtual whatever it was. The we're, virtual world. We're dead, you know. Okay. Yeah. But, um, we'd be but if it weren't for, for Hajime and how we all stayed connected, even if we all had to split up, like me and Gundam stay connected, even though I'm in Novo Slip, and he's in Japan or wherever he is from. Uh and just like how you just like how you live in a different area than all than all of us, we still stay connected by doing these videos. And yep. yeah, Sometimes we get mad and sometimes we get upset, but we all come together and think, think good about each other and not really upset. Oh, you stupid bat! We love you, Nagi Well. So don't take the words I said to, to so hard. It was just a time of the moment. And by the way, I know you're kind of worried about Sayaka, but you really should consider inviting her. I mean, she is part of your. She is part. She is one of your friends, after all. I know you know. I don't. She she will try not to stand out so much. She she's actually the kind of person that tries to make sure she doesn't stand out too much. I just don't like her because of how she is. But I will grow to finally, to finally accept her for how she is. In the meantime, yeah, I can invite her to my formation. Um, it's just to see her try to to thing. I still don't understand you guys. I mean, that wouldn't be a problem if she didn't see me then, right? <laughs> You're right. And it wasn't nice. It, it's not nice of me to judge people. Just like how you guys don't judge me when I first came here. I was, when I first came to Hope Speak, I was so nervous. Everything I said or did was like out. I was nervous, but probably for a slightly different reason. I'll admit it was pretty interesting seeing you talk. Oh. You also have to realize, like, for a while you guys had to realize that where I came from, I didn't have very much friends. And I never had friends who would like the same stuff. I didn't even think I'd be able to fall, be able to fall in love, and yet... Gundam, I love you. Um, <laughs> I love you all. Just Gundam, I love more because he's you know. <laughs> well, yes, we know you, sure. Yeah, we know that. But I love you all because we just accepted me for who I am and not that uh, as a strange, weird girl who will never shut up. <laughs> and we always treat you as a person rather than a princess. I can't help but think about the fact that Boogie would totally be going absolutely wild right now if she were here. <laughs> she probably would. I'm surprised our past president is not happy. You sound like you're really upset. Are you okay? Upset? I'm not upset at all. What do you mean? Well, it's kind of... Don't worry about it. It's probably me thinking about stuff. Um, but... Nagito... 
Does that, does that whole conversation make you feel a lot better? Yeah, that's the way you could say that. Yeah, that was a big annoyance. Annoyance? No, I had to, I had to, I had to tell you somehow. <laughs> but I should, I should probably say this too. Our lovely people are watching this video. No matter who you are, and no matter what you are, the way we see you guys, and the way we all will treat you, will always be the same as how we treat ourselves. And we will never change how we treat ourselves. We will be different from how we treat you guys. We all love you. We all love our subscribers and you guys people. Don't we guys? Of course. We appreciate all the support you guys give us for those of you who are subscribed and those of like you just watch our videos. It's really good. It's nice of you too, so. Yep. <laughs> Even if we don't do all that stuff, though. Well, so, it's so nice to know that we have people who believe in us. Sometimes people don't really believe in us and other people. And I feel like today, people who are watching, go to your favorite subscribers or favorite people in your life and just tell them how much you appreciate them. How many people do that? I don't want to show you one of my Santa Claus. <sighs> <laughs> but yeah, if you're watching this video right now, go tell your favorite person, you can text them or tell them in person, that you appreciate them, and I'm sure it'll make their day. Or not, well, yeah. depending. Life just got really sentimental. <laughs> yeah, well, it's <laughs> very, very sentimental. Never done before. <laughs> yeah, that was very, very sentimental. Didn't it feel kind of good though to, to let that all out? I'm not gonna lie, it kind of makes you think of something maybe my Kota would say. Something he would definitely. Maybe Makoto's maybe, maybe Mikado rubbing off on us. Uh. <laughs> yeah, I think he is. I mean, we did used to be all the way to spares, but. But. Remnants of despair. Oh yeah, Remnant, sorry, Remnant's not ultimate, so that's just your girl herself. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. Oh, she'll be disgusted when she watches this video. Yeah. She'll probably, but do we care? We got no. the best in love and respect to show each other. Well, yeah. I said we start from... I mean, she cares deep down somewhere in there. The reason why she did a lot of this stuff is because she's just so infatuated with despair, and because she holds us close to her heart. She wanted to give a despair reason... No offense, Shiagi, but I don't think Juko has any best interests for any of us. Not best interests for us. She wanted... She wanted to give a despair of reason people she cares about. That is pretty rude, Nekomaru. <laughs> Wow. I'm just stating the truth. Do see me. Anyway, I do care about you guys. I just don't show it. You know, despair and everything is really awesome. But I just don't show it as much. I don't really know how to show it without showing you guys despair. I care for you guys, so I showed you what despair means. I told you it came from a place of caring. That's the same thing I did. So that wait, wait, Jugo, did you just come back from your thing? I thought she was over there. Uh, that was, uh, Jugo was here a minute ago before she left. She looked like she was crying. Oh, well, whatever. But, uh, well, we all know from you, you'll never accept it. Except what? Her? Me? Yeah. In a way, I guess you can say that. <laughs> As long as we're all getting over our feelings, that's the only good thing right now. Anyway, are we recording a, a video after this? Yeah, we're doing, uh, we're doing, uh, uh Neighbor Some Hell after this. 
pretty sure Kukichi would be excited for that. I am! And Juka will be too! Can't wait to see- I can't wait to see what can- what the guy is gonna pull. Oh, I like how Kukichi is just randomly appearing in this video. Yeah, is Mikan gonna show up for the, um... For that um, recording, really sure she, should, she probably huh? won't. She didn't like the idea of us hurting she, someone. She seems pretty upset after the last. Yeah, because she's she gotta give my shield to my nurse. She likes protecting people. Well, well no way. It's, I mean, it's hard to explain. I spent some free time with her. It's interesting how she words it. Hmm. Hey, come, go, come. We have enough for the transformation now, that's good. Ghost hand. Yeah, ghost hand! <clears throat> Got a hand. Uh, oh, goodness. <laughs> no, you tell me, I'll know any puns you do or not gonna be very good. Just being played. Yeah. Here comes the bride. Here comes the bride. Oh, dress white. That's how it goes. Yes, yes, it is. I've never been to a wedding before, so I wouldn't know. This is a darker version of the song. You brought me and Gundam's wedding. Of course, we didn't have Here Comes the Bride coming down the island, but. Right, that's what I meant by that. I never heard that. We had music, because that's the music I wanted. Well, didn't it actually know the music? The boogie definitely did not play the music. I didn't want to put the music out of me and Gundam's wedding. Yep. <laughs> I didn't want my crusty music. Or, it won't be coming down. But, hey, your music is slow. No, 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 not that, not that. Her music is good, just in playing. I mean, I think we're used to it, so I think we're not gonna have any problems with it. Real quick, I'm gonna heal myself so I don't die here. Be careful what you say about your music, Kasha. I think I heard her mention in the other, in the other video that we recorded that I was in the other room. She's over there right now because she wanted to work into the music, but that doesn't mean that she can't hear anything. We mean, yeah, she has really good hearing, so yeah. Yeah. She's, she's the ultimate musician. She's the ultimate musician, Nundle. So just be a bit careful. <laughs> well, I'll have to be semi-nice to people who are in it for you. I guess I can stand to accept Juko, I guess. I'm done. I mean, it will be very hard for me to be sure I take it. Oh, no. I mean, yeah, because you only really care about hope, really, so... Yeah, I guess those are pretty contrasting, um, values there. I can already tell- I already know that you and Juke are never going to be on the same page, ever. Of course. No surprise. Intentionally not me either, but I'm willing to deal with it. Same here. Oh yeah! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I gotta be careful here. If I fall off, it's pretty much just a death here. Yeah, careful. Well, you won't fall off then. Careful. Focus. 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 I mean, if you've made it in more than a friend of mine. Oh boy. As I said. Okay, that was actually. Okay, I love. Okay, that only did like three damage. Okay, not too bad. Yeah, 
You know what? I'm just gonna fly over there and get what I want to get. I'm not gonna bother with the freaking mumbo token. Mumbo so I'm just gonna fly over there and get what I need real quick. That way, because I'd rather not risk dying here. Because I don't want to collect all the notes again. That would suck. Huge time. Huge Huge time waste. Yeah, then at that point we'd probably have to recollect all the notes off screen. That would suck if they died. Yep. Hmm, you could just fly over there. What the hell? That's what I was doing. Oops. Alright. That's all I really needed to get. I'm not gonna worry about the Mumbo token. There's plenty of Mumbo tokens in this level. And this game to do stuff like that. Alright, let's see. We have 70 notes here. Yeah, currently 70 notes. I don't need more eggs, this room is useless. It's not really Gruntilda's house, it's a different house. Yeah, her the entire lair was rally through as her home. I see. Hey, Princess like these always remind me of games like Boys puzzles because they're from the same kind of air egg style games, but like uh catastrophe crow. Game because they released the files. They released the source code so you can play it. Yeah, and there's a part in that ARG where they take sounds similar to these sounds that you hear in this game, and they essentially make an alphabet using it. Hmm, <laughs> interesting. Interesting. That is really. Yeah, you know, yeah, I've seen about the ARG and stuff. The I. The ARG is really cool in my opinion, at least. But that might just be me yeah. because it's an ARG about a video game. I mean, most ARGs, if not all, well, actually, no, most of them are about games and stuff. But a lot of ARGs are, you know, very well put. Yeah, yeah. Alright, huh? Yeah, this stuff hurts you, by the way, this, this stuff here. Nights of Freddy's too. Yeah, he's so played on the horror, bro. Yes, yeah, horror, bro. I heard them before. Mhm. So yeah, if anybody wants to play a spooky game on this channel, I suppose that could potentially be one. I have some spooky games in my pocket. I am getting close to death here. I gotta be careful. I mean, you have played 
from the hoofs. Guess you are somewhere interested in horror games, aren't you, Shoto? We literally just beat the first one, so yeah. I've already beaten all the games at least once, but it it's honestly been quite a while, so I was having some trouble. At least one of these good shock. You heard the next game we're not doing with power, really, so it's gonna be a bit easier. Yeah, but we will have to deal with the music box. Yep. Hmm, no wonder. You ever played over the Glacier Club before? I haven't, but I know people who have and have seen it. No, so I already know what's going to happen. Oh, definitely. It's a very good game, in my opinion, at least. Yeah. Rengar doesn't really trust that game. He, just, he thinks it will cause a virus and stuff. Yeah, I, I can understand Rengar that's... Because it, change, it changes files in your computer somewhat. It, it, does, it doesn't change any, it, it changes its own files and it adds files. Yeah, to its own files and its own directory. Uh, own directory, you know what I mean. Well, we were telling me a story that, like, someone at Dell that game and got a virus from it. Well, there's a different version as well that actually creates a separate, like, fake desktop for you to play on. It was created for people who are playing on console. So that way it wouldn't actually be altering your files, it would be altering its own in-game desktop files. There's also, there's also a lot of... There's a game that I heard that, um... It's like a horror game, but it's like Baldi's Basics? I don't know. Oh, I've heard of Baldi's Basics. Like a it's a really... It's a very difficult I, game. I, I heard, I heard that it can... Create a file in a uh, in new thing, and it's like really crunched in. Oh, like at first yeah. learning with something, something. Yeah. Uh, YouTuber I know for a good from what edge he says he's been on for. But those kind of games are pretty tedious and kind of look to play with that so. We do a lot of things that a lot of them um, AAA games but don't really do much of. Yeah, they suck. Oh, I'm leaving come back in so I don't die here. Because you will die if you fail that mini game. And that would not be a good thing. Oh, it's dark. Yeah, Guess it was. Guess it would. I'm gonna spell Banjo Kazooie on this little sliding puzzle. Interesting. Sliding puzzles in my dream. I don't know, I'm not a big fan of sliding puzzles. What kind of puzzles are you a fan of? Mm. I'm not entirely sure they there's I mean escape room style puzzles, but puzzles where there's I mean there is strategy of course, but Typically what happens a lot of people just kind of guess and then they get the answer from I'm guessing you go with RE student work sometimes to kind of experience that. Yeah. You, what, do you get a discount or something? What? Discount. On Fuck. what? Huh? Wait, what? I'm very confused from what you're asking. I'm not Yeah, I'm confused. You from, yeah. On, from, you do not have to pay to do escape rooms. You know, pay to experience. Bless you. Bless you. Uh, bless you, Sonia. You don't pay to do escape rooms. You can break this kill. Um... Uh. I don't even know. <laughs> Although Arisu does work at an escape room, she doesn't really have the, um, ability to give us discounts and things. Which is okay. Yeah, Alright, that was...
was close. I almost hey, died there. If we were to do an escape room with her, it wouldn't make much sense because she'd already know all the answers to the rooms. Well, so yeah, she gives clues and stuff, doesn't she? Yeah. Yeah, and she has to reset the rooms between each uh, round, so she'd know all the answers pretty much, and I guess it wouldn't make it very fun for her. Yeah, I guess not. I suppose it's if any of you guys came over to where she is, and then I don't know, we could always do an escape room. I've done this escape room. It's just unfortunate she well, couldn't do it with us. Yeah, I mean, I've done this escape room before in the academy, of course. That was the final <laughs> dead room. That was not a freaking. Uh, well, I mean, if you're in there, it is an escape room. <laughs> I mean, minus the end part, the end part doesn't kill really... Yeah, I mean, there's no rush to let in an actual escape game room get thing. If that were in an actual escape room, um, I think there'd be a lot of legal problems. Probably, if I, I would not be surprised. Uh, yeah. I was kind of disappointed in that gun part, though. It's such an easy game. I mean... Easy, but that's also because you're the ugly, uh, ultimate lucky student. The roulette part? Yeah. I mean, nothing really serious from that. You just put all, you just put all but one of the bullets in there and just spin it. That's, that's not, not how that game works. Yeah, that's that does not how that does not how it works at all. And it's actually illegal to play that game, actually. Oh, very. Russian roulette. Oh yeah, it is actually very easy. Illegal um, to play that. It was outlawed in many states, uh, so I've heard. <laughs> I think Russia still is uh, able to do it, though. Well, it's called Maybe Russian roulette. <laughs> I suppose that's true. Funny if it actually wasn't made in Russia. I mean, I'm actually way, like surprised that you're still alive, Nagito, after what you did with the Russian roulette. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Also, um, I mean, kind of like how it's kind of like how French fries aren't actually from France, huh? You know, <laughs> looks like Shocky got you there. <laughs> Why am I getting flushed down a toilet? That's kind of worrisome. Man, I just heard some deep oh, shit, huh? Oh, good. Hey, Shadow's oh, oh, arrived oh. for today. Don't steal my thunder. <laughs> Shut up, Gruntilda! Damn. You're more annoying than Junko! Oh, goodness. Okay, now hold on there. It's kind of hard to try to gauge that, don't you think? I said I would give Junko a chance, I'm doing that. Huh? Nothing. Why are you a pumpkin? Because that's the transformation for this love world. And then we can step in here without taking damage. Self destructing. Oh, okay, how is there water inside of here? Does that mean ketchup jam? 
Um, I was going to say, I was going to say. Knowledge is knowing that tomatoes are a fruit. Common sense is not putting tomatoes in a fruit salad. I mean, we'll see. <laughs> I mean, unless you want, yeah, unless you want your tomatoes and fruits out, in which case, don't want to stop you, but technically... Just don't let us stop you. Oh, goodness. That was an intentional. You also not make a mistake in ketchup for a smoothie. Hmm. I mean, people have drunk ketchup before. I mean, it wouldn't be a surprise. I mean, ketchup is closer to, like, jam than a smoothie anyway, even though it's not jam. Last time, yeah. when's the last time you saw people eating toast with uh, with ketchup, huh? When's the last time you ate If it was just a tomato and salt, then it'll be fine, but it's it, it, hey, it's vinegar, tomato, and salt, which is not meant for. Uh, when, has the, when has the last time you saw somebody drinking ketchup? Hmm. Last Okay, uh, I Gross. think it was a deer, and I couldn't really understand it because we were laughing. Oh Ironically, from the game I'm playing right now, from Google <laughs> from Hack and Bo Kid, 12 year olds, I so barely. I think Hack and Bo Kid. That's really weird. I didn't say I was playing with 12 year olds, I said they were just hanging out in Angie's house. Uh huh. Anyway, when I was checking on them, apparently. That kid there in the boom kit said eat toast with ketchup on it. Alright, uh, there's the last jiggy! And there's all 100 notes. Alright. Let's see here, so we 100%? Yep, we're 100%, alright. I wonder, I wonder how far we got, I wonder how far in we're in this right now. Uh, time. The time. 47 minutes, but we're gonna go ahead and do this. The one thing real quick we need to do before we get over the next world. Yep. Look out. Look out. It's a gravestone. Really? Look out. It's a gravestone. Ugh. Oh, goodness. Oh, well, at least if I die in the if I die in the lair, it's fine because I'm not hunting notes or anything. Yeah, be careful. I'm going to you six feet under. Nagito. Hey. Although actually, I gotta be kidding. Do gotta be here because I'll lose my uh, preservation. There we go. And the next level is gonna be a pain in the ass, what Rhaegar told me. Oh, goodness. We're probably gonna die multiple times, he warned me about that. So I'll probably do the hardest thing first before we uh, make much progress of anything else than that one. Apparently there's a really hard thing in there where you have to go through an engine room or something and if you fall off you it's an instant death. There's one last thing we need to do real quick and then we're, that's it. We're gonna, we're gonna go get the next cheat and get the next cheat real quick. Wow. Mm. I'm not there, you are, Nekamaru. Get it right. Yes, yeah. yeah, like, yeah, it's not like you. I suppose we can't names wrong up a lot of the time in here. <laughs> like, we got Monica Himiko a ton. I mean. I do call, accidentally call You're Nagito careful, and careful. <laughs> And you accidentally called me, call me Nekamaru when I'm playing a game. <laughs> careful, <laughs> careful. I suppose that one might be the most insulting one, seeing that you two are completely different. Oh well, yeah, that is true. Yeah. Oh. 
Unfortunately, all of us have gotten our names wrong. We'll just sit around and watch. Names are difficult, okay? Just tell me about it. Red feathers, alright! Too lazy to walk back across, so I'm just going to uh, do this. Just uh, okay. Just uh, death abuse. Yep. Go this way then, and we're gonna go ahead and open up the next world if I can. Perhaps maybe I shouldn't though, just to be safe. Cause I don't know what I don't know what will make this video like an hour long. That would suck. Yeah. Just. We don't want to bore our viewers. All right. Well, in that case, let's we'll go ahead and end it here then. So oh who God. wants to do the outro? I guess I could do the outro. I haven't done that in a while. All right. Go ahead, oh, Sonia. Yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. Go for it. <laughs> Alright everyone, this has been Big Karan for Characters Play, uh, Banjo-Kazooie, uh, on, I'm gonna probably skip ahead a few things, cause I haven't done this in a while, <laughs> but I know some Rhaegar and Aki have fan camps, and if we have a Discord, and if you, Discord will be- Whoa, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Discord will be in the link below if you want to talk about, if you want to get in the whole thing with uh, Rhaegar and Nagisa's fan games, you got to talk to them through the Discord. Uh, on the right will be what we show and what we, the last episode of Banjo Kazooie, and on the left will be whatever YouTube recommends. There'll be, in the middle, there'll be a, a little button with a, a logo on it. That's yep. where you can subscribe. Uh, I'm Sonya, never mind. Come I! Oh, sorry, Gundam. I keep forgetting you introduce yourself next. That's okay, don't worry. Gundam Tanaka. Naki. Oh, Naki. Sorry. And this has been Dinko on the Characters. Bye! Bye! Goodbye, everybody. Later! Take care and peace out.